We've been taught since elementary school that the Big Bang caused the genesis of our universe. But the James Webb Telescope has just proven the Big Bang Theory to be incorrect. What exactly is going on? What did the space shuttle discover that surprised scientists? Let us investigate. Hello and welcome to Z. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell to receive our daily videos. The formation of the first galaxy was a watershed point in the history of the universe, ushering in a protracted process of cosmic evolution that resulted in the shape of the countless galaxies we see today. While our understanding of this event is still growing, continuous study and observations conducted by telescopes such as the James Webb Telescope are shedding new light on this critical chapter in our cosmic history. It is difficult to build a galaxy. Even though the universe is 13.8 billion years old, the oldest galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope in November formed 350 million years after the Big Bang. The infant cosmos not only took its time forming its first galactic masses, but it also did not create massive ones. To explain the birth of such massive galaxies so early in the history of the universe, scientists would need to reevaluate either some fundamental cosmological concepts or their understanding of how the first galaxies were seeded from tiny clouds of dust and stars. The objects are significantly larger than was previously thought possible for galaxies so soon after the Big Bang and date to a time when the universe was only 3% as old as it is today. If confirmed, the discoveries would call into doubt scientists' understanding of how the first galaxies evolved. Did the James Webb Space Telescope disprove the Big Bang Theory? Using NASA's James Webb Satellite Telescope, a team of researchers led by Joel Leha, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University, uncovered an amazing finding. The crew was evaluating the telescope's first dataset, which was provided by infrared sensors capable of detecting light from the farthest regions of the universe. Surprisingly, the scientists discovered galaxies that are significantly more massive than expected. These galaxies are as developed as our own, despite being assumed to originate from the very beginning of the universe. The discovery, according to Dr. Leha, calls into question established theories about how galaxies begin and evolve. Dr. Erica Nelson of the University of Colorado Boulder, one of the study's co-authors, spotted a collection of fuzzy dots that stuck out in the images. Close investigation revealed that these dots were extremely brilliant and red, indicating that they were large and had been around for a long time. In astronomy, redness is employed as a proxy for age because light gets stretched or redshifted as it passes across the expanding universe. These galaxies appear to exist for 13.5 billion years or 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These would not be the oldest galaxies disk covered by James Webb, which began operations in December 2021. Last year, astronomers identified four galaxies that are approximately 350 million years old, though these were much smaller. The most recent galaxies, according to estimations, were comparable in mass to the Milky Way and contained tens to hundreds of billions of sun-sized stars. Leha discovered a surprising finding that poses enormous difficulties to the scientific community. The revelation is so surprising that it calls into question the current understanding of how galaxies evolved in the early cosmos. The term dark ages in space often refers to a period in the early cosmos from about 380,000 years after the Big Bang to roughly 150 million years later when the universe was filled with a dark, opaque fog of neutral hydrogen and helium gas. There were no stars or galaxies at the time, and the cosmic microwave background radiation had only recently begun to cool and become transparent. These events are assumed to have occurred after the universe experienced rapid expansion and spent a few hundred million years cooling down enough for gas to condense and fall into the first stars. Galaxies began to develop at this time. The discovery calls into question existing beliefs about the universe's dark ages and shows that star creation may have happened considerably earlier than previously assumed. 
However, the astronomer emphasizes that additional observations are required to corroborate these conclusions and dismiss outmoded models. The statement also recognizes the James Webb Space Telescope's remarkable contribution in transforming our understanding of the universe. The group wants to obtain spectrum images, which will provide more precise distance data and allow for improved mass estimations. A spectrum will tell us immediately whether or not these things are real, Leha asserted. In comparison to modern galaxies like our Milky Way, which is expected to have at least 100 billion stars, the early galaxies were usually dwarf galaxies with only 100 million stars. Early galaxies, according to the norm, were pipsqueaks. Or at least, that was the rule. A new study published in Nature has discovered objects with populations of tens or perhaps hundreds of billions of stars that are thought to represent at least six galaxies dating back as far as 500 million years after the Big Bang. The mass of the largest of the six is estimated to be ten times that of the Milky Way or one trillion times that of our Sun. Erica Nelson, co-author and assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado, Boulder, said in a statement following the research release, It's crazy. You just don't think the early universe could organize itself so quickly. These galaxies should not have been able to form. Last summer, the Webb Telescope observed a portion of the sky near the Big Dipper that had previously been photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope. Webb, on the other hand, sees mostly in the infrared spectrum, whereas Hubble sees primarily in the visible spectrum, providing it with a novel viewpoint on a region of space where Hubble had previously found nothing particularly notable. The findings of the new study were intriguing. Six blotches of incredibly intense, red, yet fuzzy light stood out from the otherwise unremarkable background photograph. The astronomers were initially drawn in by the hue. The universe is always expanding, and when things go further away from us, their light wavelength shifts into the red spectrum. The further away anything is, the redder it appears. It was discovered that these 12 objects were distant enough away and red enough to have formed up to 13.3 billion years ago. They were also massive enough to be galactic in scale rather than point sources of light like a star or explosion. However, that first impression of size could have been false. Gravitational lensing is a phenomena in which light from distant objects in space is distorted by the gravity of foreground objects, appearing larger than it is. This idea was introduced by Albert Einstein, and it has been proven by more than a century of research. The authors of the new paper discovered that objects that appeared on a cosmic scale were significantly smaller than they appeared to be and were just optically exaggerated. That notion, however, was shortly abandoned. A closer examination of the entire image revealed that no foreground things were close enough to the six intense lights to affect their size or shape. This leaves galaxies as the most likely explanation for the objects, however even the researchers accept that confirmation will require additional observations. Even so there are as many questions as answers regarding the possibility that they are galaxies. For begin, the galaxies would have been extremely numerous. Each year, two new stars are thought to be born in the Milky Way. The six galaxies discovered in the most recent measurements would have needed to create hundreds of new stars every year for hundreds of millions of years to develop as swiftly as they did. Furthermore, the heavier elements that make up contemporary stars were not present in the early cosmos, rather, hydrogen and helium were the major building blocks of stars, resulting in very small galaxies. If ones this massive were formed at such a young age, it would signal that heavy stuff was more abundant and present than previously thought. Cosmology is the study of the universe's creation, evolution, and structure as a whole, including its physical attributes and fundamental principles. Scientists study the universe using observations and models, and they attempt to develop models that accurately anticipate the behavior of cosmic phenomena. Even if it's a short word with big implications, the area of the sky where the new objects are located will be completely covered by other observations. 
Currently, the web team can only approve roughly 200 of the 1,000 requests for telescope observing time they receive each year from astronomers all over the world. Some of those research will probably include observations of the new bodies using the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph, or NERSPEC, which examines target objects' temperature, mass, and chemical composition. The legitimacy of the six candidate galaxies should be validated by NERSPEC. It will radically alter our understanding of how quickly large, mature galaxies may evolve and form. These galaxies, which are among the oldest and farthest away ever recorded, undoubtedly provide fresh light on the early evolution of the cosmos as well as the origin and evolution of galaxies. Alright everyone, here's where the video ends. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more about fascinating developments in the space sector and the newest insights from this world and beyond.